The Little Mermaid was pretty good. This is really sick. Her whole plan, like her whole plan of turning human was to seduce freaking Eric. And they were trying to help her seduce Eric. Like when, what's her name? When uh, uh, Ursula, she calls her a whore, I think. Or a, a not a whore, a, 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 a slut. It's something. Ursula, the, the <laughs> this, I watched it again. Little, she calls her, I forgot what she calls her in the, in the cartoon. I think, uh, uh, damn, I can't remember what she calls. Cause I heard, I was like, what? <laughs> like Ursula calls her a, 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 a hoe. That's what Ursula calls little mermaid. And she's right. This is a little fast little 16 year old. I was like, I was, wa bro. It's so crazy watching shit as an adult. It's insane. I think maybe it was a harlot. Hold on, let me check. <laughs> tramp, that's what it was. Calls her a little tramp. That's what it was. I was like, yo, what? Yo, as a kid, I know what a tramp was. I was like, okay, that's interesting. Bruh, that cartoon was horrible. It's a horrible cartoon. The Little Mermaid is absolutely fucking horrible, bruh. I watched the new one. It was pretty good. Now, in the new one, uh, Ursula... Ursula, you know, she's been banished. Uh, same thing in the movie, in the cartoon. She's been banished, and uh, she wants revenge. Uh, something, so yada, yada, yada. You know, I forgot. She, you've been banished for like 16 years or something. Banished from the kingdom. I don't, I don't think we know why. I can't remember why. But whatever. And now, and now in this time, in the movie, the little spin that they have in the movie is that she doesn't remember that she only has three days to, like, seduce Eric. This is some crazy shit. I want people to understand. Like, the concept of the Little Mermaid as an adult, like, looking at this through an adult lens is wild. This woman sees, sees like, uh, now they try to, they soften the blow, like, in the film. Because <laughs> I watched a cartoon again. I was like, this cartoon, Ursula's right. This is a little tramp. I'm 16, father. I want dick. And I want human dick. That's pretty much what she says in the movie, bruh. Not in this movie, but in the in the cartoon. That's pretty much what it is. That's it. That's that's the, that's honestly the story of the Little Mermaid, of Disney's Little Mermaid. Now, in this one, they try to soften that. They try to, yo, we need to smooth this shit out, bruh. We can't. <laughs> She's 16 in the in the cartoon, wants to go for a prince. We need to smooth this out. She's going through hormones in the cartoon. In the film, they try to make it seem as if, hey, they both want something, right? Because he's adopted, he's adopted, and he's like, yo, I don't want to be like this prince that my father was, right? I want to be someone new. I want to go out and adventure the world. And she says the same thing. She's like, yo, I don't want to be stuck in the ocean. You know, I want to see the, you know, the humans up at the top, right? And they, she has her whole collection of a doppelganger and all this, doppelhanger, whatever they call it. Uh, and he has his like collection of books and stuff that and maps and stuff like that. I was like, okay, I can, I see why. I can, I can see it now because they're essentially the same thing. So I could see that. I, I was like, okay, I get that, I get that. But the cartoon is crazy, bro. The cartoon is crazy. She's like seducing this guy. Like, look, it's me. He's like, oh, you can't, you can't talk. Oh, well, it can't be you. She's like, this nigga. <laughs> I was like, what? So, and then, then they have, you know, go on and kiss the girl, ask her and stuff like that. There is a, so when it comes to Sebastian, the dude who does the Sebastian voice was weak sauce, bro. Was absolute trash, bro. Like, uh, uh, what is the song called? Not kiss the girl. What's the song called? Anda da si. Yeah, Sebastian killed it in the cartoon. In the cartoons, Under the Sea was way better. It was, it was awesome. In the cartoon, because I watched it, right? I watched it back to back. I went to see the live action and I watched the cartoon. In the live action, Under the Sea was way, was freaking phenomenal. It was like, you had trumpets, you didn't have other fish who were like in, who were singing. In this one, Under the Sea was trash, bruh. It was absolute trash. The guy, I don't know who the actor is, but he doesn't have the voice. He doesn't have the voice for Under the Sea, and then the, 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 the special effects and everything, it wasn't, it was like, Meh. 
It was like, mm, yeah, it didn't have the same pizzazz that uh, th that the animated version had. Cause it was like, okay, yeah, I get it. None of the fish were singing. It was just, it was just a uh, 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 Sebastian, uh, and he doesn't have that voice. He doesn't have that. Uh, that, I don't know, that raspy or that, that, that voice that uh, the original actor had. Uh, that was trash. Now, what I will say, Ursula, what's her name? The comedian who plays Ursula? She, Melissa McCarthy? Yeah, she killed it, bruh. She killed it. Uh, Unfortunate Souls? She killed it. I went and saw the, the, the cartoon, right? The cartoon version of Unfortunate Souls was trash. After watching her perform Unfortunate Souls and then seeing the cartoon, bro, she killed it in Unfortunate Souls. I'll give her, I'll give her that. She killed it. She killed it in this movie. Absolutely killed it in this movie. Unfortunate Souls in the cartoon was trash. Um, other than that, it was pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, there was like a little cat fight in Ursula uh, between her and when, you know, because she has the voice. Yeah, I, I thought the it was pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty solid. Uh, the difference is, was, you know, during the ending, uh, the prince doesn't kill uh, Ursula. The little mermaid kills Ursula. So that's the difference there. Um, that she's, she's you know, with her fin, she's trying to, to sway the ship and stuff like that. I was like, eh, okay. All right. Um, there was another scene. There was one scene where it was like, it just didn't make any sense, bro. Where she she's uh, she got her legs right, and she's in like this uh, this little I don't, I don't want to say chariot, but that's what it is, this little carriage, and she she doesn't know what the hell she's doing, and I'm thinking to myself, yo, bro, you're a prince like Eric, take the freaking reins. He doesn't take the reins. He's just watching her nearly run over people. And <laughs> I was like, what is he doing? Just take the reins, because he's like, oh, you want to you want to use the reins? She's like. And the horse is like, rrr, rrr, rrr. and she like, he like, yo, watch out, watch out, watch out, yo, yo, and he's just sitting there while she's just driving like a madman. I was like, well, this is realistic, you know, this is more of a realistic, you know, version of women driving. So, I mean, <laughs> I guess this is historically accurate, right? Right? <laughs> like, apparently, women could never drive. I didn't know that. So, you know, th thank you to the movie for adding that little, that little. You know, that little spin. Because I thought, you know, there was at one point women could drive. This movie says women could never drive. They never knew what they were doing. Whether it was a, a horse and carriage or, you know, uh, you know, a car. So I was like, okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Yeah, because you're going all over the place. I'm like, what, what, what? There are people there. You don't see them? Like, what? Yeah. But he just sits there going. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, you're driving really fast. I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you, fam? Take the reins. Other than that, I mean, this dude wears the same freaking shirt throughout the entire film. And I was just like, what? Why are you, you, you can't switch into new clothes? <laughs> he wears the same shirt with the vest throughout the entire film, fam. Throughout the entire film. I was just like, gotta stink bro that's gotta, that's gotta smell i'm like i think we're at the point where like an audience we can recognize oh he's changed clothes we don't need him to keep the same clothes throughout the entire movie for us to recognize oh that's prince eric like we get it he can have different apparel bro the same blue jacket throughout the entire freaking film and i'm just like yo what doesn't make any sense. Uh, the who's a little uh, what's his name? Not Sebastian. What's the seagull, bro? The seagull. The seagull's name. The seagull. Who's the seagull, bro? Little Mermaid seagull. What's the seagull's name? Scuttle, bro. She was hilarious. The the voice actress for Scuttle. She was actually funny. She was actually funny as, as Scuttle. They had like this little rap thing. I was like, uh, oh, it worked. It worked. It worked. But she was, she was actually funny as Scuttle. I couldn't believe it. I was like, no, no way. 
Yeah, it was pretty solid. It was pretty solid. I'm not going to lie. I was going in there, bro. I was going in there to like, to just completely bash on the film. I was like, I don't want to see this film. This film is dumb. I don't care for Little Mermaid. I don't want to hear any singing. Um, what's her name can sing. Whatever her name is, she can sing. At Haley Bailey or whatever is Haley Bailey or whatever, she can sing. Uh, she was funny as Scuttle. Absolutely pretty funny. There she had some her her timing is pretty solid. So the same thing with Ursula. Like there's this one part I actually laughed. I like I couldn't believe it. I was ashamed that I laughed. But there was one part with Ursula where <laughs> where she's visiting uh she's visiting a uh, uh, Ariel. And she's like, Hey, I can help you. He's like, who are you? Oh, it's you. You're the witch. And they're like they call they uh they call me they call me Ursula or but Ariel's like, oh, they call you the witch, the the sea witch. And she's like, the what? <laughs> I was I was like, I was dying. Her deli- her timing, her delivery and her lines are pretty solid, pretty solid. She's like, leave me alone. She's like, okay, fine. And then Ariel's like, wait, what do you have to offer? She's like, yes. I was like, her timing is flawless, bro. Like, her timing, she makes Ursula. She really makes the film. Because I went and saw the, the, the animated afterwards. I was like, yo, it's, it's not there, bro. The timing isn't there. The, the, the character isn't there. I liked her in Ursula. Then I liked the Ursula in the film. Uh, but yeah, I think The Little Mermaid, the, the animated one, was absolute trash, bro. Absolute trash. Really sick film. Really sick, sick film, bro. Really sick. So I was like, wait, she just said, Father, I'm 16. I'm like, wait, she's 16? And then who was uh, Triton? Little Mermaid Triton. Bro. One thing that irritated me was, was this man here, bro. This man here, bro. I'm like, fam. What are you doing, bruh? What are you doing, bruh? This man irritated the hell out of me in this film. And the reason why... Now, this is what Triton looked like. The dude was freaking jacked, right? Homie was jacked. Okay? He was jacked. This fool, bruh, he didn't do any working out, bro. He didn't... <laughs> he didn't do any working out. Where is he in the movie, bro? It is just disgusting. I was like, what is this? He looked all skinny and scrawny. I was like, what, bro? How are you, what are you doing? You can't do just the bare minimum. You can't do <laughs> a few push-ups or something. This man looked like utter trash. He looked exactly like, you can't even say this is Photoshop because that's exactly what he looked like. He looked exactly like that. Utter trash, bro. Just no muscles, bro. Look at that. Grown-ass man with biceps like that. What are you doing? Grown-ass man with arms like that? And you supposed to be the king? Like, what? What? It was, it was absolutely, like, this is who you're supposed to be mimicking, bro. This is, this is the dude, bro. This is the guy, bro. Dude is jacked. Jacked out of his mind, and then you come up on the set looking like this, bro. Damn shame, bro. Damn shame. That shit irritated me. I was irritated by by looking at that. I was like, come on, bro. Come on, man. Come on. You could have put some muscle on, bro. You could have put some muscle on, fam. You can't be walking around. I get most of your shots were like, they were like medium close-ups or close-ups, but come on, bro. We, I mean... They could have at least done some digital, digital muscles or something. (laughs) Give this dude some digital muscles. Dude looked like he was just starving. Like, yo, what's wrong with you, man? You okay? Anyways, I thought it was pretty, I'm not, I thought it was pretty solid. I thought it was pretty solid. I was going in there to definitely hate it, and I didn't hate it. I really didn't hate it. And I was shocked. I actually didn't hate it. I mean, it was pretty close to the, to the film, to the cartoon. And the cartoon was trash. There was... <laughs> I was like, yo, was this in the cartoon? Sure enough, it was in the cartoon. I was like, yo, this cartoon is stupid. Man, you got to give kudos. You know what? Salute to all the parents out there. 
Salute to all the parents out there, because I can only imagine, right? I, now I wonder all the stuff that I liked as a kid. Like, if I were to watch it now, would I be like, yo, this is stupid? <laughs> but your parents would just sit there and watch it, like, oh, this is great. Yeah, I love Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This is, yeah, it's a great, this is a great show. Oh, you want to watch it again? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm just starting to think about it, like, yo, was Lion King actually good, or was that because I was a kid? <laughs> I'm starting to think, was like, Go Go Gadget, was that actually a good film, or was it, was it because I was a kid, right? I'm just like, was 101 Dalmatians actually good, or was it because I was a kid? Because I went back and watched The Little Mermaid, I was like, this, this is dumb. I was like, this is, this is a dumb cartoon, man. Like, all this stuff, like, why is the seagull, why is he the one that you go to? I guess because he flies and stuff, so he knows more about what the humans do and everything. And then, uh, what's his name? This, this mofo. I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know what happened to, to, what's his, what's, what's the little, uh, fish's name? You know what, anyone know the little fish's name? What's that fool's name? Flounder. Bruh. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what happened to Flounder, bruh. I don't know who they just, <laughs> oh, it's like, What? What? I was like, okay, all right. That's that's an interesting take. That's an interesting take. Yeah, fly. I don't know how we go from that to that, but goodness gracious, bro. Gonna make him yellow something, right? This I would have taken this as flounder. That would've been cool. Bro, they gave us this. I was like, what? What in the world? Lord. Luckily, he didn't, you know, he doesn't talk that much. Luckily, he doesn't talk that much because he was just like, I don't like, yo, this is weird, bro. I don't want to see this. This is weird. He's making me hungry. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted to get some fish. He was making me hungry. I wasn't like, oh, that's cute flounder. I was like, I want fish tacos. Other than that, Sebastian, Sebastian was cool. I think his delivery was pretty solid here and there. His singing was trash. Singing was trash, bro. His singing, uh, uh, Sebastian singing in this film was absolute trash, bro. Absolute trash. Uh, but the film overall, yeah, I mean, it uh, wasn't bad. Wasn't bad, because I was expecting it to be bad, bro. I mean, not to knock him, but he can't sing, bro. He... <laughs> there is this one segment where they have him singing, and also, that's another thing that irritated me. He has two shots in the film where he's without a shirt. I'm like, no muscles. No muscles. Bro, I was so upset. I was like, bro, come on now. Come on, bro. You are you are doing these characters injustice. Just like, bro, you are you know you're going to be on the big screen. You're not going to do a few push-ups? You're not going to do nothing? That's crazy to me. Like if I had a role where I knew I was going to be on the big screen shirtless, fam, I would go ham. I would go, I would go Hugh Jackman, bruh. I would go Hugh Jackman, but don't worry. It's only gonna be two shots. I'm like, say less. This fool was like, I was like, what? 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 What's happening here? And then him with Triton, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know, maybe this is body positivity stuff. I don't know, bruh. It doesn't make any sense to me. Because I was like, that didn't make any sense. I'm like, bro, if I knew my shirt was gonna be off in a movie... Fam, I'm working out. That's what's gonna, I'm gonna hire a trainer. I'm getting jacked. I'm getting swole. If I, they don't want me swole or jacked, I'm getting cut. He had like a dad bod. I was like, oh man, this is not a good look, bro. Come on, Ariel. <laughs> Come on, Ariel. Like, you can do better than this. Clearly, there must be some merman out there that got, you know, that takes his fitness seriously. But I get it. He's a king or, or, or prince. I get it. I get it. I, okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, he can't sing, bro. They had this segment having him trying to sing, and the part was just like, he's just running. I will find you. I, f I forgot what the song was, but he's like, I will find you. You're out there. I was like, oh, my Lord. Lord. It was just really bad. Really bad design. Really, really piss poor. I was like, you sing. You need to stop singing. You, you, you should be quiet, okay? Let her sing. She killed it. She killed it. Let her sing. You, you, you be quiet, bro. 
You be quiet. Yeah, I don't really have that that big of criticism for the for the film. I think uh, the hair is a bit funky in certain shots. The hair the hair can be a bit funky in certain shots because certain shots, I was like, mm, that looks like it needs to go back in the oven. It looked like it need to go back in the oven. That's what it need, that's what it looks like. Because the CGI in certain shots was a little bit funky for the hair. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it was cool. It was cool. I think, honestly, I think this 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 is way uh, better than the cartoon. I'm going to say that much. This was way better than the cartoon because the cartoon is on some pedo stuff. The cartoon was on some straight pedo stuff. I don't know if people remember it, but it was definitely on some pedo stuff. Now, looking back at the cartoon, I'm like, Triton should have, like, chopped off her fins or something. Because I'm like, yo, ain't no way. I'm going to allow my daughter to go up on the sea world and she's 16 talking about I'm in love. Bitch, you don't even know what love is. You don't sit your little fucking uh, uh, tramp self down. Yeah, that cartoon was crazy, bro.